Hey guys, my name is Cedric Gaming, and today I'm back with another video, and today I'm back with something new. It's going to be a podcast, because I'm original, and I'm also going to be joined by KB Gameplays, a financial YouTube channel anyway. Yeah, it is. Oh, Hello, nice. everyone, to this, amazing. this wonderful channel of CJH Gaming. Subscribe if you haven't already. Plug in your shit already, mate. You're not even paid, this, but okay. Um, um, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's I'm... a lie. He, he paid me 50p. I don't even own 50p. I have no change whatsoever to my name. <laughs> I'm not even, that's, a, right. that's actually a tree. So already off topic. Yeah, right. but um, yeah, we're going to be doing F1 <laughs> podcasts every now and then, like after each race, if anything exciting happens. So yeah, the first topic is going to be the driver lineup. So that's going to be exciting. Um, as an overall view, what's your opinion on the new drivers and the... Um, uh, can we get um, rid of the stroll and bring back Ocon? No. And, uh, get rid of stroll. Get rid of Ocon. Yes. Take Hulkenberg back to Force India, and then get Shirokin back. Oh. Just yeah, been off stroll. No one wants him. No, his daddy's pockets are just. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's. I'm pretty sure he's like the first driver. Yeah, he probably is. We'll have to see next season. He's you're, be, you're, you're so close to your mic. Please, like, sort like, your. <laughs> we like you did that on purpose, yeah. didn't you? Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! You keep breathing yeah, in the mic. He's gonna be a second off Perez. Yeah. Well, you're gonna be a second off dying in a sec because you keep breathing in your fucking mic. <laughs> really, stop it! It's so close. What is? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like... All right, I've moved away now. Is that better? Yeah. It is. Okay. Um, but so, yeah. Oh, sorry, Karen. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Right. New topic. Danny Kafir. Would you, uh, think about his comeback? Um, I don't think, I don't like it. Not a fan. Why? Why not? Well, he's had his chance. He blew it. Get rid of him. There's, like, youngsters in F2. Like we've already got yeah. four new drivers, uh, well, right, there's three new drivers from F2 and then one, well, Giovinazzi, who, I, I don't know, what did he do like, yeah. the whole of our season apart from Ferrari test driver? Uh, he replaced, uh, Giovinazzi replaced the line, didn't he? Yeah, but that was 2017. Mm. So in two years he's done pretty much nothing, but hey-ho. Pretty much. Um, yes, but he, he's back anyway. What about, um, let's talk about other driver changes. What about Raikkonen and, and Leclerc switching? What, uh, what's your opinion on that? I'd rather Leclerc go to Haas. Because I, I feel like Ferrari, the pressure's going to be too much for him. And, like, okay. it's quite a big Obviously jump. Young. Well, no, because it's his second season in F1 and, and he's already a Ferrari. So, like. Yeah, but in Hamilton's first season, he was in McLaren, which is a championship winning team. Uh, race winning team. Yeah, no, but like... In his first season. That doesn't mean so. I agree with that. But like... <laughs> also, there's like... Other drivers who I'd prefer to be in Ferrari. So... I'm not sure if it'd be possible, Fair but... Enough. You're like Perez, because I'm uh, a Perez fanboy. Yeah, you are a Perez fanboy. Yeah, yeah. I know that all too well. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's also Hulkenberg. Um, yeah, I, I like Hulkenberg. But there's I any... Want, I wanted to be one next year. Yeah, hopefully he does. Hopefully Renault are good for Daniel, Daniel Ricciardo. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I hope I want Renault to be like at least race winning or like getting podiums. I don't think that will happen for at least 2020 or 21. Because mm -hmm. looking yeah, at like, I don't know. But the front... Because there are new regulations coming in next year, so hopefully... Yeah, but their budget's not going to be as big as like Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull, so they're going to be an like, even bigger gap in my opinion. I feel. Uh, yeah, I guess, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, what else? Right, there's what only about... two teams that haven't changed their drivers whatsoever, which are Mercedes and Haas. Mercedes. Right, Mercedes. I mm -hmm. I like. I agree with, but and I, mm, actually, Bottas. I don't think did that. Quite I then. think they should have swapped Bottas for Ocon. I I, I don't rate Ocon. I don't like Ocon. Why? Because he took out Max at Brazil. 
No, I'm not. I'm, I don't like. Like, I'm not a Max fan either. But like, I don't know. I just don't like. I, I'm not really like sure liked him. Is Max. He's really cocky. Which is, um. I feel. Uh, I, I can kind of see where you're coming from, but. Eh. <laughs> oh, no, <I'm> <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> eh. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> just. I don't know. No. Got nothing against uh, him, but what? I just don't think he's as, like yeah. that good. I got nothing against him, but I don't think he's as good as everyone says he is. Oh, fair enough. But uh, well, I'm just trying. I'm, trying, I'm struggling to find like why you don't like Ocon, but you like Stroll. I don't like Stroll. Like I hate him. <laughs> I hate Stroll. <laughs> but you're saying he deserves to be in for. He, des- he deserves to be in a in a good team. No, I didn't. No, I said like hopefully he does better in a better team, so we can like see if he like we can actually see well, if yeah, he's. He's obviously gonna do better in a better team. Yeah, you know, but like shocking. if he's compared to Perez, if he's like two seconds off the pace each lap, then he deserves to be like dropped straight away. Yeah. Like. I, th- I think there should be like a vote to kick someone out of F one, and everyone should just vote for Stroll and get back Sergo. <laughs> Sergo Sorokin is the lord, lord and savior. Mm-hmm. But I think like, I want to see Verline back. Yeah, I want to see Verline back, but he's in Formula E now, isn't he? I do not know. I did not know that. I thought it was in D- yeah, um, I think it's, DTM or whatever it's called. It's him, Van Dorn, Massa, and a couple of others. They've gone to Formula E now, haven't they? Yeah. I haven't really watched so, Formula E for a while. No. I, don't, I haven't watched Formula E in a while, but I want to start watching it again because I think, like most people, fall into a state of depression because there's no F1 anymore. Until yeah, break. the view should well, like, the rock out. Yeah. Oh, also, like I know we're like eight minutes through or seven, but we need a name for these podcast, like this podcast. So if any of you yeah, wa- we need, actually we need watch this, uh, put some comments down, say some names, and the best one will get picked, I guess. Yeah. Um, Even but, yeah. for this episode, though, like <laughs> I could just put new podcasts. I don't know. Um, we talk F1. I don't know. But yeah, we've gone off topic again. Um, but going back to Mercedes. Oh, shock. Lewis Hamilton, I feel, deserves to be at Mercedes. Bottas. Yeah. Uh, Bottas could have won like five races this year. He could have, but he didn't. That's the thing that annoys me. Yeah, he, could, he could have won China, but Ricardo passed. He could have won uh, Baku, but his tyre blew up. Could have won Austria, but his engine died. Could have won Russia. But he's just yeah. Russia, Russia it was his win. Baku was his win. I, I, I Austria, we won't really know because he wasn't far. Like if it was another last ten laps, then yeah, like we could mm-hmm. say it was his race. But China, I feel Danny, China. Danny Rick deserved to win. Yeah, Ricardo did well, but I think Bottas could have won that if he held on. Yeah, he could have won it, but he doesn't defend. I don't, in my opinion, Bottas doesn't defend like enough. He's too nice. Yeah, he could, like in, in Silverstone, when Vettel just, just went up the inside, he, he moved once, like, in the whole race, like, against Vettel. He didn't even try and come back at him either. That's yeah. the thing that annoys me. And that's same with Bahrain, like, on the last lap. He, he went for a really feeble, like, go. Like, he didn't really... Yeah. If he broke about... Yeah, it looked like he was going to have a go, but he broke, like, 20 metres too early. Yeah. sort of... Because if he, if he, I think, I think if he actually went up the inside, Vettel like would have given the room and he would have got the position and the win, but he didn't. Yeah, he, he probably would have, but I think Bottas, where he is at the moment, it's just not. He's, I, I feel like he's not comfortable in Mercedes. No, I, I, just, I think he should go I don't back really to. Know, but, yeah. I know. I, I, he was best with Williams, kind of. Yeah, he was. He was good at Williams, but Williams is. Fucking awful now. So I don't get what. How do they go like from like twenty sixteen was an all right season, twenty fourteen was their best season like in the like recent years. Yeah, twenty twelve was a decent year for them because well they won no, a race no. and they, they got had, Maldonado. Like, good points that. Yeah. Mhm. But yeah, like Bottas, yeah. I don't think he deserved a seat. Like I know he's a wingman now, but, but yeah. that's that's probably why he got the seat though. To be honest. Mm-hmm. Like, cause it's Mercedes. Yeah, it's one of those championship winning team. If they knew they like they couldn't rely on him, they probably would have sacked him. But yeah, yeah. so 
I think the reason they brought Bottas in is because they, I think, I think they got him in because they they let. I, I think in 2016 they let Rosberg win the championship so they could get someone new in to help Hamilton like get more championships or whatever. Because Rosberg and Hamilton kept fighting it out from 2014, 15, and 16. They thought mm. if we let Rosberg, I, I think they would have thought if we let Rosberg win, get him out, bring yes. someone in, get Hamilton more championships. I don't think it would be like to think. get Hamilton more championship. I thought I, I'd, I think it's more like to get a nicer environment. Like instead of fighting all uh, the time, so it's like chill. Yeah, I guess, I guess it. Yeah, that makes sense as well. Because at the start of 2017, Bottas was doing all right. He got po- uh, um, pole in Bahrain, which is good, and then Russia yeah, won. Russia. They started the season off well, and then as soon as Hamilton and Vettel pulled away from him. Yeah. He got less. So he, he just gets hang out, like, hang, hang, hung out to dry, I can't speak. Yeah. Just. I feel like he, if... He, no, sorry, Carol. No, don't worry, either. I feel like if Hulkenberg didn't sign for Renault before the 2017 season, I feel he might have gone to McLaren, uh, Mercedes. Cause like... Yeah, I, re- I reckon he might have done. I, I, I reckon Hulkenberg would have like won the championship. In my opinion. <laughs> You're a Hulkenberg fanboy. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a good driver. I like him. I think 2017 they would have done the same as what they did with Bottas, but this year, uh, I feel like if Hulkenberg was in Bottas's positions in each race, he would have like won more races. Gone for it. Yeah, like Bahrain, he yeah. would have gone for it. Uh, China, he definitely would have defended. Because if it was me, I wouldn't like. It was he still left the, Bottas left the car with. Into the hairpin. Yeah, yeah. So you'd be like half effort, like yeah. half an effort. So. Mm-hmm. This just seems to be a rant at the Bottas at the moment. We been... <laughs> Yeah, it does. Maybe we should um, move on to Ferrari. Other, other like uh, driver changes since we haven't done all of them. Yeah, yeah. let's go to Ferrari. Uh, they've kept Sebastian Vettel, which is no surprise mm-hmm. really. And yeah, not surprising. Charles Leclerc. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I think Leclerc des- deserves it because I think he deserves think it, but I don't think it'll. It, I don't know. Hmm. He deserves I, the I seat. I think he's proven himself for Sauber because um, obviously uh, early on in this season, Sauber were like next to Williams. They were awful. Yeah. And he obviously got sixth place. I mean, I know it was like a chaotic race, but still P six and a. In a cyber, and then Sauber continued to upgrade through the, throughout the season. I think Sauber are the most he's upgraded. Been constantly getting good points or near the points, so I think that's why he deserves um, see with Ferrari. Yeah, I, I agree with you, but I don't know. I don't I don't think he'll. I think he'll make like they'll make him like Sebastian Vettel's wingman. Like, if you get what I mean. Mm, yeah, I, I can kind of see that, but I think. I think because I think they'll probably uh, favour Leclerc because he's um, like younger and he has more potential than Vettel. So I think they'll mm. probably favour Leclerc. I or think they'll just do what Mercedes did and just let him fight it out by themselves. Yeah. In yeah. But I can kind of see. I think they do that because then, then it'll be good. Mm. Like we'll actually have some decent racing. Yeah, I, I kind of see though like Sebastian Vettel doing what like Rosberg did with Hamilton. Because I feel like when Hamilton moved to um, Mercedes and he was getting all the good results, uh, Rosberg was getting a bit jealous and like tried to like ruin it. If you get what I mean? Um, what in twenty thirteen you mean? Well, like, twenty fourteen. Rosberg was doing better than Hamilton. You know, like when it comes to twenty fourteen, Hamilton was doing a lot better, and he's only his second oh, season yeah. of the team. And yeah, mm-hmm. I also saw a thing on yeah, Instagram. So I think... That's, Mercedes, since they've come back, have only had four drivers. So they're quite loyal. Um, wait, have they only had four drivers? Schumacher, Hamilton, Schumacher. Rosberg and Bottas. Schumacher, Rosberg, Hamilton. Yeah, they have. So they're quite loyal. Over six years? Seven years? Eight years? Nine they're years? They're going Nine into a tenth year. Well, tenth season. Mm-hmm. That's that cool. is it's pretty good, to be fair. I'm like, the, I mean, it's obviously the awesome. teams want to get as many drivers in to see if they can find someone good. Yeah. But still, 
Mercedes Mercedes weren't even that good in like twenty ten to twenty twelve. No, it was like so, midfield, midfield, mid midfield. They were like high midfield because in tw- in twenty twelve they won their first race mm-hmm. since nineteen fifty five with Rosberg in China. Yeah. And then they didn't win the rest of that season, and they started winning in 2013. 2012 just seems to be like the season for one-off wins. Because you've got Maldonado with Williams. Everybody, Rosberg with um, Mercedes. Raikkonen only won once in 2012. As, as well as Raikkonen with Lotus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. When Lotus were actually like half decent. <laughs> yeah, but they're not even in the sport anymore. Yeah, sure, they got taken over by Renault. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Red Bull. It's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be pr- pretty good. What do you think about Gasly? Do you think you deserved it? Well... Oh. About Red Bull? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think... Well, I don't know. I think he, like... Out of everyone they could have picked off, he was probably the best. Because, like, they only really had him, Brendan Hartley, Kvyat, and... That's pretty much yeah. it. Because they're not going to pick some yeah. other driver. Because then they've got yeah, a program. Sure. But he, he's... So, uh, huh? he, he, he did alright last season with Toro Rosso, so... Yeah, he, he's done alright. I think I think he's done a, a good job. I think he you know, I think he deserves it, but I don't know how it's going to... What's he play? Because I think they'll probably... Um, favor Max because they know what he can do. He needs a proven race winner, and Gasly didn't get too many points this year. Yeah, but if you look but, at in okay. 20, like twenty sixteen when Max and Daniel like Max first moved to Red, uh, Red Bull, he won Spade his first race, but Daniel had won more races and they favored Max like straight away, in my opinion. Um. Yeah. True. So I don't know. But I think it's because I think it's good in twenty fifteen, Max had proven that he was, you know, capable of being in a big team and capable of, you know, getting good results even in Tor Rosso. He got like I think P four in Hungary. Yeah. So you know the P four for but Tor Rosso is actually really good. Yeah. So I think he proved himself and that's why they favoured him. Mm-hmm. But in twenty seventeen yeah. Carlos Sainz uh, Science actually got P four in Singapore as well. So. Yeah, Science did have a good result in Singapore. Uh, Science actually um, did better than uh, Verstappen in the 2015 season. But Verstappen got the call into the Science. I feel kind of bad for Science. <laughs> you, I have no idea what you're saying, by the way. You keep going out, you can go... Uh, oh, that's great. I feel bad for Science. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel bad for Science. But then, he, he did decide to move to Renault and yeah, but 2015, he did so much, like, he did better than um, Verstappen. Like, he got more points, um, I'm pretty sure. Because I saw it like, it was on TV or something. Yeah. But I think Verstappen proved himself that he was a good driver, because I think some of the, mainly some of the overtakes that he did, um, hmm. sort of, like, proved, like, he proved himself with that, like, around the outside of Nazareth Spa. Yeah, and I was thinking the exact the same move. Of Ericsson in China, I think he's proved himself with those. Yeah. That's why they gave him the seat instead of um, Science, because Red Bull typically go for more aggressive drivers than the Karma. And drivers. showmanship. Because that's just what Red Bull's like. Yeah. But, no, I don't, we'll have to see how it plays out. Yeah, hopefully, it, hopefully it's good. Hopefully there's a lot more, there should be a lot more racing and more, like, more people going for the... Yeah, hopefully champion. the racing's a lot closer with the, like, simplified front wings and everything like that. Apparently it's not going to make much difference, so... Apparently it's just a waste what? of money. Like, I saw on TV that it was, like, not going to make much difference. So it's going to be a waste of money, really. That's what some of the team bosses were saying, so... I don't know if that's true or not, but... I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not really... I don't <laughs> think we should delve too deep into the... Like, no. specs of everything. Based on... You could, well, we, I don't think we could even do it very well. But anyway, right. Renault. What was what that? Do you think of that? It's my hands clapping. <laughs> oh, it sounded like you hit something like a wooden spoon on the frying pan or something. Yeah, because I have a wooden spoon and a frying pan in my bedroom, don't I? This might be weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, Renault. <laughs> I might. 
Yeah, Renault. Right. The biggest uh, turn in Hulkenberg, obviously. And, yeah. Uh, biggest turn in uh, The biggest gossip in the driver's chance for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember going into Canada and everyone wanted a signature. And everyone thought it was going to go to Mercedes, but. Um, mm -hmm. I guess not. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to see um, either Hulkenberg or Ricardo in like a, in like a Mercedes or Ferrari. I think that'd be interesting. I want to see like, like, sorry, like good drivers. So I think they could do really well in the top team. Yeah, I want to see like either in like the summer break or just before the season starts, like or at the end of the season, like the top drivers go to the like Lewis Hamilton and Bottas like, in the Mercedes go to Williams. And like, so yeah. whoever comes first in the drivers' uh, constructors' championship goes with the worst team, and like so and forth. If you get what I mean. Oh, so you like they like switch cars. Yeah, so just for like a like race or something, and see if like the people in the bad cars could do a good job, or if it was just the cars that make them win, not talent, but yeah. Stroll. Stroll doesn't have Stroll. Stroll. <laughs> He'd be in the Mercedes and still be like ten seconds off of Hamilton and the Williams. <laughs> yeah. He's Probably. only in the. I hate that. I don't like that F1's gone more towards pay to wit, like pay to be there. But pay drivers. Yeah. yeah. But oh, I don't like that. Yeah. But I say I think the only the only like two the only two drivers I think have like fully survived like the the pay to get in era is um, Perez and Hulkenberg. Aren't they? Yeah. Ericsson was in there for like four or five years. Yeah, Ericsson was in. Yeah, but Ericsson's a pay driver. Yeah, I know. He didn't really have. He, like, he was good he wasn't for. Very good, to be honest. He was. I, I, he's decent, but like not very good, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. But I feel like he was in. Like, he only stayed with Sauber so long to develop their car. I, I feel that's the only way they like reason they kept him. Just as like a development yeah, driver, it. when they knew they wasn't going to be very yeah. popular, they're like, very fast. So they just left him, like kept him like that. But yeah. Yeah, maybe. Renault's keeping with their, well, keeping with Hulkenberg, which is a good choice in my opinion, and Danny Rick, which yep. for for Renault, yeah, I feel is going to. I think be... he's just, I think he's just doing it mainly to see his options for twenty twenty one. Mhm. I feel like because obviously twenty twenty one coming in with new regulations is going to probably change everything. Yeah, but I feel like he's going to do what happened. What's going to happen to what happened to Alonso is going to happen to him. Or he's going to like a team that's not as good as the team he's in, and he's just going to get like forgotten about, kind of, by like, the big teams. If you get what I mean. Um, I get what you mean, but I, I don't know. Well, I think because he had a lot of like people saying, you know, why would you do that? Like, what's the point of stuff like that? And people said that about Hamilton when he moved to Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Look how he turned out. And obviously, you know, maybe that could happen again. That would be yes. nice. But I don't feel like Renault yeah, have the remember. budget to like their car next year I think gonna be like fighting where they are now for, like midfield but not gonna be challenging for wins or podium. I don't feel. I think there'll be a few tenths off the three front running, three front running teams. Mm. I think there'll be like maybe like five tenths off. That's a big call. But I don't know. I feel like in the right hopefully they're closer than what they were this year. Yeah, I, like with Renault, they're not like very fast in straight line, in my opinion. They're not very, they're like just mediocre in everything. They're not, they're not a specialist in straight line speed. They're not a specialist in aerodynamics or chassis. They're just equal in everything. In my, like, that's what I feel. Yeah. Because you got like Force India, who've got like really fast in a straight line, but really bad. Like... Then you got. Yeah, they've got really bad aero, but they're good in a straight line. Then you got like Red Bull, who's really good with aero, but they're like really bad in a straight line. And you gotta find like the perfect balance, which I think, I th which I kind of think Renault has done, was to find the perfect balance between everything to make them like a good car. But they just need to I upgrade. I think if they them. keep improving that, then they'll go even higher up the field. Yeah, I can't wait for Austria to be like under a minute. That's gonna be that's yeah, it's gonna be ridiculous. What, what were they saying in qualifying this year? Like one minute fours, like, one minute threes, something yeah. like that. So it's gonna be like, this time next year, maybe. Like the pole lap might be just like a minute or something. But anyway, we're going off topic <laughs> once again. Be ridiculous. Yeah, we've gone off topic. Yeah, this is really weird. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, Force India. Teams. Force India, Stroll, get him out. Perez, 
cool. I, yeah, keep keep Perez. Get rid of Stroll. No one wants him. Yeah, keep Perez. Like, like, like Perez, keep Stroll. He's only there because his dad owns Jack it. Off. Like that's literally yeah. the only reason why. I think it'd have been out of F one if he didn't have his dad like there. Yeah, he, he yeah. would have been. I feel like. Even though I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of Ocon, I feel like he should have stayed or have Pascal Verline back. But he's gone to Formula yeah, E. I think they should have got someone else instead of fucking Stroll. Yeah. Like, <sighs> Defin he definitely wouldn't be an F1 next year if his dad didn't buy it. Like, no, he'll probably be an F1. He'll stay with Force India. It's not even called Force India anymore. It's called Racing Point F1. Racing Point F1. <laughs> It's such a dull name, like weird name. It's like you it know, is. you know, like you get that sometimes you get these apps on your phone where it's like an F one game, and like you create like motorsport manager kind mm -hmm. of thing. It yeah. sounds like one of those like something you have to name your team. <laughs> it's because like for non copyright. Mm -hmm. You type in. Yeah, yeah. Just keep going. I'm good. <laughs> You're very loud. Ooh. I'll put as far away as I can. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. I don't feel that that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna be that good for constructors wise. But Perez, I feel is gonna be good. The car, I don't feel is gonna be very good around like Monaco and stuff. But Azerbaijan, Spa, Monza, the tracks they're normally good at. I feel is gonna be good for them. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I think they'll do well. Fine. Hopefully, at least. Um, I feel like they would have been fighting Renault for P four in the tra uh, constructors if it wasn't for their points getting denied. All taken away, but yeah, it's yeah, it's, it was annoying. But I guess it has to be rules. done because then it's just like kind of unfair, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, you got Haas who tried to get for a uh, racing point F one kicked from the sport this season. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah. So is that going to be That's beef now. for next season? Stupid. Yeah. Has complete, by the way, has, uh, keeping their lineup. For, yeah, the second and sorry, final team to keep their lineup. Get rid of Magnuson. Yeah, I don't, I don't rate Magnuson. Like, Honestly, uh, Magnuson has just taken people out. <laughs> and telling people to suck right. his balls. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, Mag <laughs> like, he started the season off alright, but like, since Grosjean has managed to get back in his form, if you like. Per se, mm -hmm. he's like not done yeah. as good. Because like Grosjean started the season off horribly, and then slowly got as soon as he got yeah, to Austria, I, 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 he didn't get points until Austria. I don't think. No, he didn't. He could have got like P four or five in Australia. Australia, Australia wasn't he his fault. Um, the rest of them was his fault. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Grosjean, I, I, yeah, I get why they kept him, but Magnussen, hmm. I feel like there's a oh, lot no, better drivers. Get but I don't, I think there's, there's better options. Yeah. I feel like Giovinazzi, maybe. Um, or Gutierrez. Could, oh, get him back at Gutierrez Haas. Gutierrez could come back. Yeah. Who else, who, who else could they have got in? Um, uh, they could have maybe Van Dorn. Mm. Van Dorn, maybe. Van Dorn, Hartley. I don't um, rate Hartley just... His season, I feel bad for him, because he's like... His car kept like blew up or just got crashed into or broke apart more than he finished races, so mm -hmm. it's a bit unfortunate yeah, so for him. Harley got very unlucky this season, and and he's out of F one, which is not you know, great. Not very good, but I want to see like another I think team. He was very good, to be honest. Like he didn't get really too many good like results. Yeah, he wasn't like, like he wasn't very good, but times. like some races we didn't get to see if he was going to be good or bad because he's either getting crashed out by Stroll in Canada or his car just yeah. wants to not work. So pretty much. So it's a bit unfortunate but, for him. I don't know. There would have been better options for Haas instead of like um, K Mag. If, like if they would have kept Harley, I reckon they could have better options. In a, instead of him. Yeah. But anyway, what team next? Um, McLaren. So, so they have uh, Lando Norris and Carlos Sainz. Completely new lineup. Mhm. Mm uh, I, I like everything up. Obviously, as Alonso has retired and Van Dorn has gone to Formula E. I didn't break Van Dorn. No, everyone like hyped him up 
Um, yeah, he had a good junior well, career, and then just. But. Nah. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think. It's... Yeah, I agree with like the new, the new lineup. I quite like like Landon Norris is all good, and Science is. For where McLaren are at the moment, Science is a good signing in my opinion. But. Mhm. Yeah. Same. I think, right. I think McLaren, if they can have a, a good competitive car, I reckon they can actually do well with Norris and, and Sainz. I feel like... Because Sainz is a good driver, and I think Lando Norris is... Uh, sort of, I guess he's kind of proved himself in TP2. I don't watch him too much. Yeah, I, I feel like still. I feel like Norris is going to have a season that the clerks had. Like, started off like not very good, but like getting used to the car, and then slowly got better. Or the clerks... Yeah, yeah so I think he's like, going to... like At the start of the season, he's going to have a couple of... Like a couple of shaky races, and then later on in the season, maybe around like Monaco time, he's gonna get like uh, like sixth or seventh or something, like Leclerc did, and it's just gonna yeah, it depends like, on his but... he's gonna get momentum and keep going from there. I reckon. Yeah, like everyone, but like when McLaren was with Honda, they kept moaning about the power unit, but it just seems to be the actual McLaren instead of Honda, which is a bit <laughs> yeah. So because last last year um, <laughs> at uh, Cota, they actually got into Q three. But this year, neither of them even got into Q2. They both got knocked out in Q1. And that was with Renault engines, which was supposed to be better than Honda. But... <laughs> yeah. to, I think I think they would have done better with Honda this year. Because look how, look how well Toro Rosso have done. They've actually done a decent... Yeah, but I Honda. feel like... I don't I don't think it's... I, don't, I feel like Renault... Like, it's the same power unit that Renault and um, Red Bull have had. I think it's just actually McLaren. Yeah, so I think McLaren yeah. just had a, a like a bad like chassis and you know bad aero, and they just haven't you know been competitive. Yeah, I I've... like we, we thought they would be competitive at the start of the season when Alonso got P five in Australia, but didn't turn out that way, did it? <laughs> no. Unfortunately. Yeah, I want to see Alonso do good. I feel like Alonso ruined his like not ruined his career, but just made choices at the wrong time. I feel he should have stayed yeah, at Ferrari. Yeah, he should have stayed at Ferrari. Because I, I reckon he could have been champion at Ferrari. If he well, he had two chances. Like, in, like 2010 and 2012, but... They didn't really... <laughs> Sebastian Vettel yeah, managed Ferrari, to get... Ferrari bottled their strategies in them races. <laughs> yeah. So. It's a bit unfortunate, but hey-ho. Mm -hmm. um, yep, yeah, you got to deal with what you dealt with in life, so... Yeah, unfortunate. Right. Toro Rosso? Is... Sauber. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, so obviously... <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, right, Sauber. So Sauber, Roikkonen and Giovinazzi. Another right, team to change Reikkonen both their drivers. Going from Ferrari to um, Sauber, swapping with Leclerc. What do you think about that? I feel like if he didn't do that, he would have retired this season, so I kind of like it. I, I feel it's good. Cause he's still going to be in the sport, yeah. and I feel like he's going to retire after twenty twenty. Oh really? Well, wait, like he's got nothing. He's well, he's I don't know. I don't feel like he's well. He's like forty something, nearly. Well, he will be like forty one or something. He's thirty nine. Yeah, no, but when he retire, like in when he his contract finishes, he'll be forty one. Yeah, got, sure. And like, most people but. retire that age. He's also he's won a world championship. If he was gonna, if Ferrari wanted him, yeah, if Ferrari wanted him, they would have kept him for another season. Uh, so I just feel uh, like I feel like he's gone to Sauber yeah. just to retire, like go out where he started, see if it happens. Yeah. If he gets, if it's a good car, he might stay for a little bit longer. If not, he will just retire at yeah, Sauber. Yeah, I want Sauber to be really competitive next year because I, I want Roglan to win more races. Yeah, I don't feel... Next year, I don't think they will, but 2020, maybe. That'll be fighting for podium. I want to see a Sauber back on the yeah. podiums, because it's been, like, 10 years over. No, it hasn't. 2012, was it, last time? 2012, they last got a podium, yeah. Kobe it was 2012 in, like, um... Monza, maybe? Uh, Japan, Kobe actually got a podium. But I don't know if that was 2012 oh, yeah. or not. I can't remember. That was, yeah, because we actually got one in, yeah, that was 2012, Japan. I don't know if they got one after that, because Perez got, like, four in that season with Sauber. What happened to Sauber? Is... <laughs> they just went downhill like Billy McLaren. Yeah. 
and Williams. In, 20, in 2015, Sauber had the start that McLaren did this season where they got a decent result because NASA got P5, I think. And then from there, they just got worse and worse and That's worse. That's actually... got better this year. What does NASA even do uh, anymore? I actually don't know. I feel like... <laughs> no idea. He could have been another option for Haas instead of K-Mag, but... Yeah, he could have been. Anyway. NASA was decent, I think. Yeah, I quite like NASA. He only had one... One one season or two season. Two. Yeah. 2015, 2016. Rio Harianto got. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Rio Harianto lasted half a season. Yeah. <laughs> and then they got Ocon, but Mana. Yeah, I want Mana back. I want, I want to see twenty four drivers on the grid again. Back in twenty ten. Yeah, I, I want twenty four drivers back. Cause I, I think the racing was a lot better when there was twenty four drivers. Yeah, I know, I know there's like more teams at the back, but at least there's back like. Williams would have someone to fight with. So. Yeah, <laughs> instead of just trundling around in nineteenth and twentieth. That's pretty. This season is pretty much just a test season for Williams. I think one of them actually said that, like as like, themselves. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe. Potentially. Yeah. Um. So, what about okay? Right, moving swiftly on, we <laughs> we got sidetracked again. Yeah. As we do. Are we finally going to do but, Toro Rosso um, this time? So I said that last time, and you went, oh no, let's do Sauber. Hmm. What? <laughs> well, like, like last time you said next team, and I said Toro Rosso, and then like about two seconds later, you was like, oh, let's do Sauber. So I was like, oh. We've already <laughs> done Toro Rosso. Have we? No, we haven't. Yeah. We haven't. Yeah, we have. No, we haven't. We talked about Kofia, but we didn't do about Alex Alban. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Toro Rosso. Toro Rosso, Kvyat, no, Alburn, Alburn, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he did. He comes second in the championship in F two. So if Lando Norris got a drive, I feel like he deserves a drive. But I haven't really watched uh, enough of him to see if he's good or not. Like, obviously, he's got some yeah, talent. So. Otherwise, he wouldn't be second. But I don't know. We will have to yeah, wait until. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. I reckon it'll be decent. I reckon I reckon it'll be sort of like the staff in twenty fifteen. You know, did it has a decent season and maybe you know, maybe get us like a drive somewhere like higher up the grid and Yeah, I don't think I don't think Red Bull will let, like have any more drivers until at least twenty twenty one. Cause how how what contract is Gasly on? Is he a one year or two year or three or four? Uh, I think it's two because I think I think most people's contracts are till twenty. Or until the end of 2020. Max Verstappen staying until the end of 2021. I'm pretty sure. Mm. So and so is Hamilton, I think. I don't, yeah, know. I, I don't know. Um. But yeah. Um. Williams. <laughs> Williams, George Russell, Robert Kubica making a comeback. Yeah, the, dr- the drive up looks. The drive live. The driver lineup looks good, but. The car doesn't. Well, I don't know. I reckon because Kubica is he's a good driver. He's a, he's a proven you know race winner. But his arm. Obviously, George good. Russell won GP two. Yeah. So I think they. I think if Williams has a good car, they'll do, know, good. do pretty well. But I, I don't. If I don't Williams think. Has a, Terrible car like they did this year. I reckon it'll just be the same with Stroll and. I feel the, like the Stroll and Stroll this car. time next year. Williams will be in the same position that like the teams are now, but the teams now are like gonna be further ahead. If you get what I mean? Yeah, I see what you mean. Like I don't think they they haven't got like enough unless they do a Sauber and but he have upgrades like nearly every week. Cause Sauber have jumped yeah. like made such a big gain this year. They've like gone from back yeah, marker. They've they gone from like second to last to like fifth. Mid fifth. Like yeah. Nah, Best they've, they've of the Mm-hmm. Getting sidetracked again, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, if if we like Williams don't really have like they're a big team, but they're low on budget. Yeah, they haven't got like a very big budget. Uh, yeah, they're pretty low on budget, but Haas has an even lower budget, and look, look at them compared to Williams. Yeah, but yeah, but Williams also like apparently they sacked like half their like team, so. That's not right. exactly what you want. Yeah. Apparently they got rid of like 200 people. Because they couldn't... Well, I'm, I'm not sure why. Maybe, maybe that's why they were like awful this year. 
You know, they got, half their staff. They're getting rid of Rod Sm Rob Smedley as well as... Does Paddy Lowe still work for Williams? I think so. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't heard about him in ages. But I haven't heard about him since he was at Mercedes. Yeah, I, knew, I heard him like 2014. That was the last time I saw something off him. Yeah, it's the same. So I'm, well, I heard right. Sound like that. Right. Uh, I think that's it. Discuss. Yeah, I think, is that every team? Is there nothing else? I'm not really um, sure. Um, Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, Haas, McLaren. Have we done all the teams? We'd have. Um, what about reserve drivers and how Ocon's now a Mercedes reserve driver? So Ericsson's uh, Cyber Reserve. Who's Ferraris? I mean, that will probably go to uh, Gutierrez, because he he was, uh, anyway. Gutierrez was before Giovinazzi, so I guess Gutierrez yeah, would then, Cause they, they have loads of drivers in their academy, don't they? Like GP3. They all yeah. want GP3, because GP3 is not a thing anymore, is it? Oh, yeah, why, why is that? I don't even. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you got Schumacher uh, in F two. Hmm? You got Schumacher in F two. Um, yeah, Schumacher. He, he's been doing well. He's gone up to F two, I think. Yeah, he has. That's what I just said. <laughs> yeah, but you keep you keep cutting. I don't forget. All right. <laughs> um. So he's probably going to be like something to do with Ferrari because of his dad or Mercedes, either way. Um, uh, yeah, maybe. I, I reckon. I, I reckon when um, if if Vettel um, you know decides to leave Ferrari, I reckon they'll uh, pick him because mm. I think he, he's done. I think I'm pretty. Sure, I think he's done well in FP3. I haven't really watched it, but I reckon he'll do well in <laughs> I've F2 next year. Do you think on FP3? I've and seen this like crash. So <laughs> FP3. Uh, GP3 sharp. The only thing I've seen is that crash of that bitch, but yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like Schumacher. Uh, Schumacher. It feels it feels weird saying Schumacher. Uh, Schumacher would go to like Sauber, and, and whoever is at Sauber doing really well, goes Ferrari instead. If Vettel left. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Don't know. It's gonna be. <laughs> It's gonna be a yeah, couple of years. I, I, reckon, I reckon next season's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, yeah, next, next year's gonna be for the championship. If the stats line up, it should be a very exciting. So I, I like the first like couple of well, 2010 to like 13 because they was quite like close to the end of the season before they like ended. Same with like was amazing. 2010, I thought was better. Like for the champion, like, I don't, see. I, I didn't watch. I, I, I didn't watch 2010. There's four drivers. Four drivers went into Abu Dhabi, like, for a chance to win it. Mm -hmm. But Vettel it obviously was, won. It wasn't it Hamilton, Alonso, Vettel, and Webber all had the chance to win. No, it's Button. Championship. Mm. It was Button instead of Hamilton, bitch. Was it? Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I don't. I see. I don't. I don't really know. Yeah. But um. <laughs> But 2012 was good because it, it went down to the last race. Yeah, 2012. I love. I like. Mm -hmm. I like races that do that. Like, because it's. Mm -hmm. I feel like once the season's complete, there's the rest of them are just either test races or give Bottas yeah. the win race. I'm trying to try and give Bottas a win. <laughs> yeah, he kind of bottled it this year and same Brazil last year. Mm. Yeah. I like Bottas, yeah, yeah. but. Yeah, I like Bottas, but I think I think there's like, like for Mercedes, there's obviously better options. Yeah, I think he's more of like a because Perez I feel suited more towards midfield than a top team. But I'd like to see him yeah, in a top cause... team. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd like I'd like to see um, Grosjean in a front running team again. Same. I think that would be. I feel like he deserves it. Yeah, he does. I, I reckon Grosjean in like 2012 and 2013, because Raikkonen won, I think, like three races. Yeah. Uh, for Lewis. Not, I not in 2013. Because you know, I, I 
reckon, I reckon Grosjean could have won a race at, I think, Cota 2012? No, not 2012, 2013, sorry. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, but he, he couldn't because Vettel was OP in 2013. I don't rate Vettel. But yeah, I, I reckon Grosjean deserves a race win. Yeah, I know. So does H- I, and Hulkenberg and Perez. My opinion. Mm. I don't. I don't rate Vettel. Twelve and and but uh, nah, he bought he bought this championship this year and last year. Yeah, like as soon as he's in a like competitive like he's, he does better than his teammate like well Kimi Raikkonen, but. No, um, it's not the case of he does better than his teammate. It's the team forces um, Raikkonen well, to let Vettel through at every opportunity. Well, no, because you had, like, Webber as well. Webber didn't really want uh, to give it yeah. up. Apart from Malaysia, uh, Multi-21. <laughs> Multi-21. I was a Mark no, Gover yeah. fan at that time. In 20... Well, it was 2013, I think it was. It was, like, a Perez Webber fan. So, yeah, I was kind of pissed off. But yeah, well, Perez, oh, Perez had his chance at McLaren, but he didn't really do very well. I, th- I think Perez bottled it for McLaren in Bahrain straight away. Yeah, because he, he was constantly crashing into Barn. Uh-huh. I think it, I think they crashed like 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 they hit into each other like six or seven times in every single time. It was like the um, Rosberg versus Hamilton 2014 Bahrain, but 2013 yeah um, different team. It was, but I don't think Hamilton and Rosberg made so much like too much contact, whereas Perez and Button did. They did physically in the half of the race. Oh, yeah, after the race they did. Perez also got a podium in 2014 as well in uh-huh. Bahrain. See, Perez is always there to, like, if there's an issue with the front runners, he's always, like, nom. Mm-hmm. Like, Baku, 2017 and 18. Russia, 2015. Yeah, Russia, 2015, when Raikkonen... Not 2017. Final Perez didn't get a podium in 2017. Baku. Yeah, it was 2016. He did. No, he didn't. What? Perez didn't get a podium in 2017 at Baku. Oh, yeah, 20, I meant 2016. Stroll got a bloody podium in 2017. Oh. Right. What's going on? <laughs> I'm pretty sure at one point in our race as well, Stroll was actually catching Ricardo. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't get... Stroll was one that like, might have actually just, like... Jumped off a bridge. Bl- blown everything up. All right, terrorist. Like... We're getting really off topic. Well, we're pretty much done. <laughs> like... What we the main well, focus? We are, I think we've I think we've talked about everything. <laughs> we've been going for like nearly forty nine minutes. God. Anyway, so, well, I we, think this is nearly fifty minutes long. Jesus, right. I think we should end it. Okay. Yeah, I think we should end it. We've like completed I'm, our topics. What we was on about? So. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't eaten any food. Okay. Um. End it then. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this video slash podcast. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to go in the background of this, either gameplay or a thumbnail or something. We'll, we'll think of something. Well, he'll yeah. think of something. I'm, I'm not doing this for now. No. Uh, Caden or Consumer Electronics might also do um, one of these on his channel. Link in the description. If any of you fancy, you pretty much do the same content as me, really. Oh, you're gonna put a link in the description for me, thank you. If I remember, or you remind me. Um, I'll make you. Remember. I'll make you remember. I'll, I'll be on there as you every week. And I'll put my fucking link in. Right. Uh, <laughs> not in that creepy voice, yeah. but. No, um, no, 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 not creepy. Just like okay, I'm. I'm just gonna stop talking. Yeah, better do. Shut up. That's why your dad left. Um, what? Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this podcast. <laughs> It's not going to be on Spotify, it's not going to be on Apple Music, like bloody everyone else's podcast, because I'm not a celebrity, I'm not famous, I have 68 subscribers. And if you are new down here... special, we have it on YouTube. Yeah. If any of you are new, and you're immature, and you want to subscribe, you can be my 69th subscriber. So, (laughs) go ahead and subscribe. But, um, yeah, that's going to be the end of this podcast. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you whenever the next one is. Uh... We're pretty much going to do this when 
there's a new topic or something to talk about or a race or something. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be the end of this podcast. I'm going to see Gaming. It's been KP Gameplays, because you're weird. And I'll see you yeah, mate. in the next one. Bye. Mm.